Dragon Ball Super is the best in three minutes. In the introduction with Beerus and Whis, we get to meet two complex characters that though they may not have been part of the original story, they fit perfectly into the story. Dragon Ball Super also has some good comedic humor, such as... And the Vegeta is doing what? Vegeta's doing what? Both scenes got a laugh out of me. And this next scene got a smile out of me. The introduction to Universe 6. The characters were endearing. The new power set, though confusing. Honestly, I didn't mind. The Kaba Vegeta relationship, though I really wish they kind of expand upon it, what we got of it in the anime was flawless. And showing that Goku's innocent nature in the scene with the Omni King was two things. Endearing to Goku's character and a testament that Goku can truly make friends with anybody. Our episode 47 was a great start to an arc. Raising the stakes exponentially and having the visuals, though, start pretty shaky. Honestly, this is where people can say Dragon Ball Super finally started to look a little better. During the copy of Vegeta arc, for the English dub audience, we were brought back the OG Vegeta voice. Brian Drummond, the man who gave us the legendary quotes, It's over 9,000! And my personal favorite, You won't escape! Krillin getting a little bit of love when he got his own personal episodes dedicated to him before the tournament power. Same with Andrew 17, where we can finally see what he's doing, and truly, the fight with Goku looked absolutely beautiful. And with Andrew 17 in the fray, we got a great reunion with Andrew 17 and Piccolo, bearing the hatchet, and giving us all that warm feeling. If you watch Dragon Ball Z, you understand how significant this moment is. And if you watch OG Dragon Ball, you'll understand the great moment that we all received, that most people did not understand when first watching. But thanks to a lot of dedicated fans, we understood. When Goku was waiting for Frieza to be brought back, out of hell. How Goku was there sparring with nobody. Now at the beginning, people are understanding that Goku was reliving his fight with his grandpa Gohan. The one few times in the series we truly get to see Goku emotional. And Frieza just being Frieza was honestly a delight. Coming out of hell, not immediately feeling like an ally. Still having his own objective, have his own personality, and Goku has to attend with his actions. is downright beautiful. And the one hour special that we were given that broke the internet with the UI Omen being unveiled to the world. And every time we saw UI Omen after that was a spectacle for the eyes. As we saw UI Omen versus Kefla, giving us the stylish finish that we never thought we needed, but man are we glad that we had. Pulling off that Sonic Unleashed combo, pressing all the right inputs as he dives in to get closer to Kefla, and with a point blank Kamehameha to then just finish off Kefla like a fatality. And the unveiling of Master Ultra Instinct gave chills to anybody watching. I know most people don't even need a recap to understand how eventful that episode was. Episode 129, 130, and 131 were all massive masterpieces for Dragon Ball fans. 129, unveiling a Master Ultra Instinct. 130, the fight that ensues. And episode 131, the conclusion of the Tournament of Power. Giving us great character moments like Frieza and Goku. Android 17 being the clutchest member of Universe 7 that we've ever seen. And even before then, the Tournament of Power gave us all these new characters. Some of them we thought we were not going to like. But at the end, you're going to see fans want to play this new character in Sparking Zero like it's nobody's business. I'm talking about Topo and his god destruction form. Hell, even Dispo. Khalifla, Kale, Jiren, Bergamo. Lavender, Basil, unique additions to the Dragon Ball roster, and everything that we got from Dragon Ball Super Broly, and though divisive, Dragon Ball Super Superhero was also a great addition to the Dragon Ball lore. But of course, Dragon Ball Super doesn't just have the anime. There was also in the manga. I did make a video talking about some things that I really enjoyed about the manga compared to the anime. I suggest you watch it if you want to understand more about the manga. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. You guys stay safe and peace.